we are at pedalsandeffects.com. We have Nick Reinhardt, and he's going to show us what's up with Digitex Drop Pedal and Lux Pedal, brand new indestructible little guys. Okay, so Digitech just released these two little rad guys. They're in teeny little boxes with really, really neat art on them, which uh, I remember I had seen them post like a little teaser of these guys, and they had just shown little sections of the art on them in the prints, and that alone made me go, ah, that's rad, I want to get those. They're so cool looking. Usually I decorate all my pedals with like weird stickers and markers and shit, but these actually look pretty cool as is. Um, so anyways, one, the Lux is a really, really basic chorus pedal with a level and a detune knob. So you can detune it kind of like, well, Unity would just be right at about 12. And then uh, to the left is the negative space. And then to the right is the positive space. So get kind of like different wavering effects, uh, which I'll show you in a sec. But anyways, I'm a big chorus pedal guy. I think this is a super, super rad chorus pedal. It's so simple. Uh, and also, well, I like kind of these big basic knobs that I can kind of move with my feet when they're on my pedal board. So that thing's rad. Uh, next is the drop pedal. So this is the Whammy 5, I think is what they're on now. Uh, I have one of these really, really rad pedal. I've always been into Whammy's. Uh, RIP Dimebag Daryl. Uh, <laughs> he's my dude, that's how I got into Whammy's. Uh, so basically what Digitech did was they took the right side, this kind of like black and red section of the Whammy and devoted it to a small little pedal. So it doesn't do any like obviously like kind of shifting things. It's just sort of like an on or off type thing. So it goes all the way up from one step to an octave uh, and you can set it if you want it down to and if you're trying to play like uh, to Nirvana Nevermind and you don't want to tune your guitar down, you could probably just kick this thing on and it'll work or any of the 90s bands that like half step, yeah, the tune down a half or a whole step. Uh, so that's really cool. Um, my favorite function about this thing is the momentary feature, which uh, makes it so you can just kind of like blast on the knob or the, the switch and it'll just kind of be on for a second, you know? So there's a, uh, Adrian Ballou and Nels Klein kind of have this trick where with the whammy pedal, what these dudes would do is they would just find like a random setting, like kind of usually over on the right side, let's just say kind of like at a fourth and then just set this in like a weird random spot for like this non-musical sound. And then you just kind of blast on this switch to get this weird like kind of glitchy solo -y effect type thing that you couldn't really do otherwise um, with any other pedals. And then Digitech uh, actually did like a uh, Adrian Ballou um, digital thing. And they're, they're, do you have one of those, the digital no. pedals they did, yeah, the I little iPhone mean. things? Right. They did like a signature Adrian Ballou pedal, which is really, really cool as well. So basically they kind of like shove that all in this guy. And the momentary feature to me is what makes this thing really special. Uh, it's also got the octave down plus the dry sound, which is the exact same as the whammy, but it's like probably the best octave down plus dry that I've heard. So uh, maybe we'll kind of like go through these and I'll show you how they sound. All right, so uh, here's the Lux Chorus Pedal by Digitech. Uh, this is with the level at about 12 and the detune knob also at about 12, which is their Unity, so. Nice little standard chorus sound, but that's the safe version on this pedal. Then uh, you could get into like detuning it. So I'm gonna detune it to about uh, nine o'clock, which is in that little negative zone and see what happens. So that's nine o'clock. I'm going to hit it all the way to zero. Okay, back to twelve, uh, and then here's all the way cranked to the right side.
So that's the Lux. Uh, it's a really, really basic, awesome chorus pedal. Digitech calls it an anti-chorus, which is, <laughs> I don't know why, but that's really cool. <laughs> Calling a chorus pedal an anti-chorus. Uh, and also it takes uh, the chorus structure from the Whammy pedal, which has like a deep and a shallow detune mode on it, which I always thought that was a really, really good chorus pedal too. So I'm into chorus pedals and I'm stoked on that one. Like I said, the shape and the design of it is really cool and it's just got like a really, really nice sound. You could go anywhere from wacky and messed up sounding to just like kind of like a cheesy like incubus sound or whatever. <laughs> so that's the Lux for you.